Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio as well as the MoviePix.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio and when you first start up the program, you are often at this little welcome screen. From this welcome screen, you can launch into a previously created project or create a new project or go into the program. And if you select this little option here, as I usually do, you get right into the program when you start up. We are in part one of an eight part series we're calling Basic Training for Vegas Movie Studio. We're going to look at some of the basic functions of the program and how to create a project, how to add media to it, do some basic editing and effects, and then how to output it. And here in part one, we want to look at the most basic of the basics, starting a new project. Now you can start a new project just by creating a blank project, clicking on the little button here in the upper left of the program. But when you do that, you just sort of get a generic empty project. I like to start a project with some thought behind it because a good start can take you a long way to creating a great project. It can make for a much more smooth workflow and just overall everything sort of fits better. And I'll show you how to do that. Instead of just going to that little blank start button, go over here to the project menu and select new. When you do that, you get a new project option screen. A couple of great options here. You can select the basic properties of your project and you can also set the program to manage your project files. I'll explain that in just a moment. But as you see, you have the option of uh, starting your project based on either what the output is, say a 3D internet video, a Blu-ray 3D disc, or an internet video, or based on what the project assets are, or the video assets you're going to add to your project. And that's the way I recommend you do it. I recommend you base it on what the material is you're using to create your project. You'll get a much more smooth workflow that way, although the program really can handle almost anything you throw at it. So when I start a project, I usually base it on either, say, an AVCHD, and AVCHD is the workhorse here for consumer video right now. That's high def video, 1920 by 1080, uh, usually 60i if you're on a uh, PAL system rather than the NTSC system, you will be 50i, or you can go 24p, which is becoming the standard now. Uh, 24p looks a little more filmic, and uh, it gives you a product that looks almost like a movie when it's done. You have the option of working with HDV and DV. These are both tape-based formats, although you can also use DV if you were creating something that you're going to put directly on a DVD, say if you were going to create, uh, say, a slideshow that you want to put on a DVD. Or you could choose, I guess, the DVD option here. You also have the option of setting up your audio as either stereo or 5.1. Now 5.1 surround, usually your camcorder is also set to 5.1 surround. It's going to create, as you might guess, sound that completely surrounds the viewer. If you don't know what your project assets specs are, the program has built into it a match media settings button, and I highly recommend doing this. The more closely your project settings match your media specs, the smoother your workflow is going to go. All you have to do here is select Match Media Settings, click on Browse, and it will open up a browse screen where you can select one of the samples of your video, click Open, and now it will set up your project based on that particular clip. Finally, you can also set up a program to manage your project files, and you do that by just checking this option down here. What this feature does is create a subfolder where it keeps your, your project's backup files, its render files, and some of its transcoding files. This keeps things nice and neat. It's a very nice piece of housekeeping. If you select that and then browse to a location on your on your hard drive, uh, then this little folder will be right there. When it comes cleanup time and you want to get rid of your project and all the files that support it, you can do that simply by selecting and deleting this one folder. I recommend doing it. It's just nice housekeeping and the program does most of the work for you. Give your project a name, click OK, and we're in our project ready to go with a project that has been set up to match the specs of the video that we're going to use to build out our project, which is what we're going to do here in the next couple of steps of our eight part basic training with Vegas Movie Studio.